Hello and welcome to Common Sense with Curtis Scott and the crime wave continues. Last episode, whatever you want to call it, I talked about the crime wave of all the flash mobs that are doing the smash and grabs, so I don't know what you really want to call them, but a flash smash and grab. And in the states that this is happening, most of them are very liberal states that you would think common sense would have kicked in by now. Some of the men, you know, the companies that are suffering from these things like CVS and a few others are calling upon Congress to do something because of all this stuff happening. And these are some of the same companies that are supporting things like Black Lives Matter and, and all this craziness. So it's, you know, you sit here and look at all this, the crime waves continuing because like in LA, I just heard an LAPD, I think it was a sergeant with the LAPD talking about citizens can't really feel safe because of all the craziness going on there. And the biggest part is because they can go commit a crime and unless it's something really serious of nature, like a violent crime, they're gonna be released. Literally the same day release, there's no bond in a lot of these places. Not only that, a lot of them aren't being prosecuted by the DAs. And common sense would say, hey, if you really want to stop crime, you would stand against the crime and actually prosecute it. You know, our founding fathers were smart men and they created a bill of rights and everything. And one of the things they talk about is the right to a fair and speedy trial. The fairness is for everyone. And it's crazy, today the common sense is not there, and it's like people, they, I know I've had cases, me personally, that were two or three years after the fact, and they finally pled out, or they finally went to court. And you would think that, you know, that's, that's not, even in today's age, I mean, even back then when our founding fathers, things weren't as quick as today on how we can do things. And you would think it'd be even faster today. However, two to three years is not a speedy trial. Needless to say, when you're releasing these guys into the streets, you're not going to stop crime. There's no way to common sense tells you. But the other thing is, is this really points to the leadership here because they promoted this stuff. There are politicians across this country who promoted crime. And really, honestly, a lot of them are criminals themselves. I think we'll see this someday soon, but we've got to take a stand against this stuff, you know, and us as Christians especially, it's time to take a stand on the Word. And if we really want America to come back to the America that I knew growing up, you know, I remember the days when we had Hands Across America and where we all united together. They're trying to divide us. You know, it's, you know, you continue to hear United We Stand since September 11th. And, you know, before then we had, you know, stuff like that, but that's when it really kicked off. And that's where I think today we need to stand united more than ever and not let them divide us. I think majority of Americans believe that what's going on is wrong, but we're gonna have to make a stand. And, and you know, it's it starts on a local level and you know, there's probably stuff in every community where there's some corruption. And one of the things I heard from God was it's time to have a truth revolution that even on the local level, we need to stand against evil and against corruption. And that, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, little things don't matter. I've talked to some friends that go to church and they're like, I'm like, how much corruption is okay? Well crickets and then they finally well you know uh no how much corruption is okay you know and you have to answer that with your own heart and i can tell you what the word of god says and i can tell you what the law of this land corruption's not okay and the reason why we can't have corruption is we don't want to be like mexico we don't want to be like these other states i mean sorry other countries that have gone to hell in a handbasket like mexico South American nations all across the land down there that that have issues with corruption and where gangs rule the streets. And that's what they're wanting here in America. 
they really do want America to be like South America, like Mexico. They want us to be one world power, you know, is what it really comes down to. They want a one world war. And if you can't see that, that's probably something you ought to really look into. And everything that they're trying to do is they're trying to do away with the sovereignty of America. And it starts with every little thing. You know, it started with this whole plan. Well, it started before the pandemic, but this pandemic's when a lot of this stuff kicked off. And their plan is to take over America to where we lose our sovereignty, where we have no real sovereignty, and to where we become more of a one world order to where we fall underneath the United Nations or whatever other group. But I can tell you, in the Bible, it says that America will not go there. And some of you may be like, well, where do you see that? And I can tell you, you know, you go look at Daniel 7, and I've said this before, Daniel 7, 4, how convenient, 7, 4. And then you go look at Revelations, and it talks about the same eagle's wings. And it's, you've got to read this stuff. And, you know, I think the common sense today, biblically, we have no common sense in America. I think common sense Christianity... <laughs> And common sense have nearly lost its way. I mean, most Christians don't even have common sense about the Word of God. And that's a big part of our problem is we've got Christians even going into this, joining the crime wave, believing that it's okay of what's going on, that we need to give people grace. You know, just like I said last time, we've got this governors and stuff saying, oh, those people needed this stuff. I'm all for grace, too. But it's time that we stand for America because their plan, this crime wave that they have, that they want more to come. And there's probably going to be more coming. And it's one of the things I think most of us Christians that hear the voice of God and know the voice of God can see it coming. And, you know, I could go on and on about this stuff, but it's really time that we as Christians... Like I said, unite together in Christ, not in our denominational, not in our theology, and actually hear the Word of God for what the Word of God says. I mean, it's that simple. Common sense should prevail here when it comes to the gospel especially, and that's really why America's falling apart is there is no common sense when it comes to the gospel because we've got so many different denominations that believe this or that. And I'm talking to everybody here, whether you're a preacher, whether you just go to church, visit church. Honestly, one of the things I heard about the shake it up and what God's doing is, I think he's shaking out the denominations. He's shaking up, and and it's time to lose our religion. You know, not the REM or whatever that sang the song, I'm losing my religion, but literally losing the religious philosophies and theologies and get caught on fire for Jesus Christ. And that's going to be the only thing, is when we start loving our neighbors as we love ourselves, and love the Lord our God with all our heart first. That's the only way we can do the other thing. And we go out and make disciples. We've got to do this, though. If we really want to see America, I know America's going to be here to the last days. The Word says so, at least to the very last couple years or whatever because it says so in the Bible and if you don't believe that then maybe you need to read the Bible more maybe you need to talk to God a little more and that may frustrate some people but that's great and get frustrated go read the word of God and catch on fire because it's time to get fired up get shooken up F you I mean F you get fired up and shake it up because we need to be shaking this nation up and, and again, for those of you that don't believe God has made this nation a sovereign nation, you need to read your Bible some more. Because it said God has ordained from one man all the nations, all races. There's not but one race. You know, a lot of people want to go on about, you know, there's black, white, Hispanic, this and that. There's one race. We all came from Adam and Eve. So it's time to get united together in Christ United, we need to make a stand against the evil in this land. And if we don't, yes, it's going to get worse. And it probably will because it's taking some time for people to stand. 
Either way, the crime wave continues, and we as Christians, if we don't start making more of a stand, we're going to see it hitting home even more and more. And so to finish off, I'd just say, if you hear this message, take a stand, share this with people you know, but more than anything, catch on fire for Jesus. Get fired up. Stand up against the evil in this land. And don't believe all the stuff that's going on, you know, that the media tells you. A lot of it's lot, most of it's lies. Most of the media stuff's lies. But it's time to make that stand and really get into the Word of God and, and talk to God and hear from God and be the church that Christ has meant us to be here in America because this was one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all because we are all one man in christ and that's where this nation was founded on was christ where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom you know and i could go on quoting scripture after scripture but it is time that we make a stand in jesus name love you guys